Good afternoon. Welcome to Weather Update. It's uh, September 12th, and it's around 3.30 p.m. Uh, we're going to first briefly look at our weather because we've had some rain that's been sitting over the same areas for hours on end. And now as a result of that, we're getting some flash flood warnings uh, that are popping up uh, over here. And actually, yeah, there's one over here, and then there might be some that are going to be popping up over there, too. If we go ahead and we look at the weather services website you'll see we have flash flood warnings in effect for uh, northern central Suffolk and parts of Connecticut and to Rhode Island uh, and we read the flash flood warning uh, which will come up in a moment here uh, flash flood warning has been issued for uh, southwestern Lo New London County in southern Connecticut southwestern New Haven County in southern Connecticut southern Middlesex County in southern Connecticut and there's some thunderstorms that have been sitting over those same areas uh, and I want to just read the one for our area Long Island so flash flood warning for West Central Suffolk County in southeastern New York until 515 p.m. at 308 p.m. Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area flash flooding is expected to begin shortly some of the areas that will experience flooding include Center Reach, Hopog, Ronkonkoma, Stony Brook, Middle Island, Port Jefferson, Coram, Smithtown, Farmingville, Mount Sinai, Central Islip, Lake Ronkonkoma, Selden, Holtzville, and Kings Park. So this is all due to the, uh, when we go uh, when we look at the, now I don't understand why that says a few clouds there, but it says 78 degrees, look at the dew point, it's at 74, uh, and uh, I guess they haven't had that much rain there. Uh, Farmingdale, I, I don't know, it's overcast here in Mineola, it's dark as can be, so I, I don't understand how that saying a few clouds, uh, but uh, it looks like some nice weather for the weekend at least, but you know what we're going to be talking about next, and that's Florence. Uh, Flo I have some good news with Florence, by the way. Uh, it's down to a Category 3. I don't know, it's some kind of miracle. It's, it hasn't strengthened, it's actually weakened, and the maximum sustained winds are 125 miles an hour. So we're going to look at that and uh, hurricane warnings are in effect for North Carolina, uh, 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 South Carolina, and it looks like it now has it making a landfall in a little further south there, so uh, you know, well, it still looks like Wilmington area, um, and uh, here it is, so it's moving as northwest at 16 miles an hour. I'm going to read the latest public advisory for you. Uh, Florence's winds have decreased slightly, but the size of the wind field has increased. Yeah, it's becoming a larger storm. Uh, Life-threatening storm surge and rainfall expected across portions of the Carolinas. So, storm surge warning is in effect for from South CNT River, South Carolina, to nor Duck, North Carolina, Albemarle and Parmacle Sounds, including the Noose and Parmacle Rivers. Uh, storm surge watch is in effect for Edisto Beach, South Carolina, to South CNT River, South Carolina north of Duck, North Carolina to North Carolina-Virginia border. Hurricane warning is in effect for South CNT River, South Carolina to Duck, North Carolina, Albemarle and Parmacle Sounds. Uh, hurricane wa watch is in effect for Eddie Stowe Beach, South Carolina to South CNT, South Carolina. Tropical storm warning is in effect for north of Duck, North Carolina to the North Carolina-Virginia border. Tropical storm watch is in effect for north of the North Carolina-Virginia border to Cape Charles Light, Virginia and Chesapeake Bay south of New Point Comfort. Interests elsewhere in the southeastern mid-Atlantic states should monitor the progress of Florence. And here is the discussion we'll read to you. All right, so uh, at 2 p.m., reports from an Air Force Reserve reconnaissance aircraft indicate the center of the eye of Hurricane Florence is located near latitude 30.4 north, longitude 71.8 west. Florence is moving toward the northwest near 16 miles an hour, and this general motion, accompanied by a gradual decrease in forward speed, is expected through Saturday. On the forecast track, the center of Florence will move over the southwestern Atlantic Ocean between Bermuda and the Bahamas today and approach the coast of North Carolina or South Carolina in the nor hurricane warning area on Thursday and Friday and move slowly near the coastline through Saturday. The reconnaissance aircraft found that the maximum sustained winds have decreased to near 125 miles an hour with higher gusts. Florence is now a Category 3 hurricane on the Saffir-Simpson 
wind hurricane wind scale. Some fluctuations in strength will be possible through Thursday morning. Although slow weakening is expected to begin by late Thursday, Florence is still forecast to be an extremely dangerous major hurricane when it nears the U.S. coast late, late Thursday and Friday. Hurricane force winds now extend outward up to 70 miles from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 175 miles. A NOAA buoy located at about 100 miles northeast of Florence's Eye recently reported a sustained wind of 53 miles per hour and a gust to 74 miles per hour. The minimum central pressure based on reports from reconnaissance aircraft is expected to be 948 millibars. That is 27.99 inches. All right. So um, when we took a look at the size of Florence, this is the satellite loop right here, and you will see that it is huge. Look at the area it's taking up. It is a huge storm in area. So even though it's weakened a little bit, it's actually grown in size. Uh, so uh, that actually makes it even more dangerous because now a larger area is going to experience the uh, forces of Florence. Uh, and we'll look at the models now and uh, briefly look at the models because uh, I want to go more in depth in this later. I'm going to have to move this down here. Uh, all right, you should be able to see that. Uh, here is GFS, and again, it it takes it in around Wilmington, and then uh, tracks it southwestward into South Carolina, and uh, dissipates it, and and then the remnants come up the coast. So that's uh, the remnants. I mean, we're just going to see. Actually, it looks like the remnants may even stay west of us, according to this run. All right, this is the 12Z GFS run, and now we look at the NAM. Look at the NAM now. Uh, you will see the NAM is probably in, in agreement with that as well. So the models are agreeing on this track, uh, the Euro 2. So this seems to be what the track is going to be now. So uh, we almost have a near certainty of that. At least we know where this thing is going. I still think it's going to strengthen before it hits land uh, because the waters are extremely warm. Uh, it's just going through a phase. Hurricanes go through where they weaken and strengthen. And uh, also they build new eye walls too. So if they do that too. Uh, and it's growing in size, and that's the real concern right now. So that is going to conclude this weather update. I'll have, um, I'll try to have another one for you uh, later, much, you know, much later tonight, probably more toward 11 at least, if not later, uh, about uh, the latest on Florence. But that is going to conclude this weather update. I really do pray for the people in North Carolina and South Carolina that are going to be going through this terrible natural disaster, uh, one that we may, we, we may have never even seen in this area before. So um, take care and thank you for watching.